Although Japan and Korea have had a long time rivalry in sports and in history in general, Shohei Otani is looking to change it. Yeah, Shohei Otani is not trying to be like Ichiro. Let's run the clip. Japanese people are pissed at Shohei Otani posting this pro Korea picture on his Instagram with doing the Korean heart, Korean emoji, signaling uh, the Dodgers coming to Korea to play a game. Uh, and they're speaking on platforms like Five Channel, which is the Japanese equivalent of Reddit, and saying, Shohei, if you love Korea so much, go become Korean. You, there is Korean blood in you. Uh, this is just an ongoing feud between Koreans and Japanese people throughout history, uh, most significantly uh, in the early 1900s, of course, Korean being imperialized by Japan, and this specifically just Shohei Otani loving Koreans a little bit and showing his international fame love. Koreans, of course, responding to this in kind of a troll way and saying, Shohei, we welcome you with open arms. Uh, come become a Korean. We knew you were Korean. Uh, and kind of going this friendly, in my opinion, uh, battle. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but the very fact that Japanese people are pissed by Shohei doing this is kind of lame. Boom, Andrew, the Dodgers are in South Korea right now playing the Padres. And uh, this is a big deal because Shohei Otani is the biggest deal in baseball, period. Baseball is huge in Japan. Baseball is huge in South Korea. But he is taking a very different stance on relations than Ichiro did. And it almost is just reflective of a general, like, you know, old rivals sort of trying to mend things in 2024 dynamic that's going on right now in general. All right, so we're going to talk about can Shohei Otani make an impact in geopolitical relationships between the two countries? Love, uh, hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Check out Smile Out Sauce at SmileOutSauce.com. Andrew, let's be real here. Uh, Japan... I believe has been invading Korea since 1592. And then obviously occupied it, I want to say 1895 for a while. There's some real, real beef from that era. Yeah, definitely. I mean, older Koreans, like especially of the 50 year olds and up that were born in Korea, they got stronger feelings. I know obviously the younger Koreans don't feel the same way, but we have to understand how history does carry over. Now, Ichiro, for example, because he played in the MLB 20 some years ago, he's from a different era. But Shohei Otani, he's trying to just be chill. He's like, yo, it's all love, everybody. And all are you are you referring to Ichiro's mentality that was more like this? <laughs> Which was a little bit more, I guess, samurai. And you would say that Shohei Otani's whole persona, and it seems like legit, like he's not doing it just to sh put on a show, is very more anime. Yeah, no, I mean, Shohei's more of the kind of the nice guy, nice dominant guy, kind of like how I view Shaquille O'Neal right now. Or Baymax. Yeah, or Baymax. Or yep. uh, even Wemanyama. Yeah, these guys are dominant players, super talented, uh, great, uh, you know, greatest of all times, Hall of Famers, but they want to be nice about it. But but I would definitely say Ichiro's mentality was more combative. But, you know, it's a different time period. I don't think any of the Japanese players coming over are thinking like how Ichiro did. Yeah, I mean, he was from the old days. Some people called his mindset and his personality a little bit more imperialistic. Yo, representative of Imperial Japan. Bro, he looks like he could have been... Uh, he could be in Shogun, the show on FX right now. Uh, Torinaga. That's that's his. That's his clan, Torinaga. <laughs> right. Anyway, guys, like we said, we're not experts on this topic. But anyway, let's get into the comments section. Somebody said, uh, how can Japanese uh, netizens be mad that Shohei threw up the heart fingers? And then other Japanese came in and said, we did no such thing. That's just a few internet commenters blown out of proportion. But other people were coming on being like, no, that's a bigger part of your guys' population than you guys want to say. What do you think about right now, Andrew, of incendiary netizens so, sort of having an outsized voice representing countries. But it's just a portion of the people that are going extra hard online. But of course, it's not the like formalized media of either side. Yeah, listen, man, I don't think unless the presidents start beefing and like actually people are beefing in real life, I think netizen beef and just netizen comments... Man, some of those people, they, they maybe they're not even Japanese, you know, but maybe they are, but literally but, but, it's but just a... It's a vocal minority. And I actually think that a lot of keyboard warriors, Andrew, they kind of like uh, don't have very good lives themselves and they like live in front of a computer screen. That's why they subsume these like ultra nationalistic or like larger than life identities online. Yeah. Because how else are they going to gain visibility or like gravity or magnetism for themselves because they don't have it in IRL. Yeah. I'm not saying some of these people are not real people, but I just doubt 
that average like socialized people that travel around and vacation in Seoul or you're a Seoul person and you vacation in Tokyo, you probably feel less this way than the internet people do. Oh yeah, come to think about it, they might not be people from Tokyo. They could be from some militant group or honestly, the truth is, man, even when we upload a YouTube video, David, I'm already budgeting that like 2% of the comments are gonna be ridiculously negative. But I'm rolling with the 98%. Yeah, I always find that people in real life are very different than online. People yes. really let their worst side shine online. Um, there was some jokes, though, in Korea that some people said that Shohei Otani was actually Korean because of, <laughs> because of his size. Because yeah. actually, uh, Koreans genetically are bigger than Japanese people. I don't know. Utah school. Watanabe, is he Korean too? I think Shohei Otani is actually looks like Ryan Higa, actually. Like a super, you know what I mean? Like a... Baymax uh, battle version of Ryan Higa. Yeah, well, he's Ryan's Japanese. Yeah. Um, I know Koreans want every great Asian person to be Korean, though. That's what Right, I right, right. Um, some people are talking about, like, they will never have trust, even though the baseball trust is there now. They will never restore trust between the two countries. Uh, you know, I think that when politically, when the two countries, and, and I'm not an expert on the geopolitics, but they're starting to have better relationships. There's this Economist article that just came out talking about how Japan and Korea, they're going to be more buddy-buddy with each other. And as the countries are more buddy-buddy and collaborating more with each other, these kind of sports rivalries, they're not going to die, but they're going to be less visceral. Like, it's going right. to be less serious. And also... Let's be honest, Andrew, the 25 and under generation, they feel very, very different from the millennials and the Gen X all the way to the boomers. Wow. Just that linkage to that like hive mind train of thought is less there. People are more global citizens nowadays, and I think it's hard for governments to deal with because sometimes, Andrew, the governments want people to be very controllable. Mm. I mean, there's pros and cons to everything. You, it's, like, it's like you want your people to be nationalistic and always cheer for the home team no matter what. Like but, our tribe, our tribe, our tribe, not your tribe, right? But you can't help that the trend is moving towards globalization. The NBA is now 35% foreign players, foreign-born players, You and, and like... You know, players move around all the time. I want to be a homer. I think being a homer is important to an extent for sports teams, right? But then players move around so often, how do you stay attached to a team? Right. Um, other people are saying that the reason why Japan and uh, Korea are being, South Korea are being unified right now is due to threats from North Korea, Russia, and China. Mm. So, you know, hey, man, you're welcome. You're welcome for unifying <laughs> Asia, guys. <laughs> China is helping unify other Asian countries against China. So, yeah, you guys will all be friends by a common enemy, I guess. Well, it's, still, yeah, you know, I, I think that I really wish it wasn't like that, but I, I get the joke. It's a funny joke. Yeah. And there maybe is some truth to that joke. Um, ultimately, what do you think, Andrew? Shohei Otani is a little bit different in the sense he's kind of like LeBron James. You know how LeBron is like a guy, he wants to like laugh, he wants to kick it, he wants to do handshakes with everybody. But then sometimes people are mad at LeBron because he's not like, you know, an assassin killer. And like Ichiro certainly had more of that like Kobe vibe. Right, right, yeah. I, I think... I think it's cool, man. I think Shohei, he's like the greatest baseball player ever. And for him to be showing love and him to be from Asia and showing love to other Asian countries. Listen, I'm sure even if they were to play a baseball game against the Chinese team, he would still be very cordial and polite and nice and just right. kind of like all loving, you know? You're saying and it's I, different than Ichiro. Ichiro had a quote saying, we want to show South Korea and Taiwan that they will never defeat Japan even in the next 30 years. Yo, and I'm remember, telling you, man, remember, that's he, some he, Shogun he, he, stuff. He had, he had Asia lit off that statement. People Yo, were not feeling that. I'm telling you, man, I, Ichiro was a was a samurai. He was... A, Ichiro was pretty much from the Tokugawa Shogun. Dude, but, but you know, I don't think you have to be a samurai anymore. The days of the samurai are gone. Sorry, Ichiro. But yeah, Shohei's the new guy. He has a big voice. And as long as he starts this trend and keeps up that good attitude... Other people are going to follow. Yeah, so. I'm, I, I'm very interested to see how Asia takes shape, Andrew, because people have so much Confucianism and they are so tied into the old days. But these, this new, the new people, I don't know when they're going to be in power, but they think different. All right, you guys, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Is this a big deal that Shohei is showing love? Show hey in love. <laughs> hey, Anyways, and he got the uh, pro basketball player wife, five eleven. <sighs> Wife's tall and pretty. Just how I like him. Good Marico job, Shohei. All right, everybody. Uh, hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hop Hop Boys. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.